Hi, I'm Steve from Trail S Travel. Today we're going to talk about how to construct a homemade solar suitcase. So first off, I'm going to attach the door hinges to the solar panel. So I've stacked them on top of each other and this measurement here is three and a half inches. So I went and bought some three and a half inch door hinges and I'm going to go ahead and attach three to this side and then two uh, to the top part of the solar panel so we can open it two different ways. I'll go ahead and put all the material that I utilize for this build in the description below. One of the things you want to make sure is that your solar panels are directly on top of each other. Make sure they're not off to the side. And then for me, I'm pre-drilling the holes if you have self-tapping screws or something like that, you won't necessarily have to, but that's what I'm doing. So for unfolding the solar panel this way, I'm gonna put it towards the electrical box where it goes into the solar panel, just so these stay closer to each other. So when I wire them together and then take it to the solar charge controller, I don't have to worry about my cables being too short. So now we're attaching the handle so we have something to hold on to and carry it with. And very simply how you do that is just measure halfway on your solar panel. And I am utilizing some hardware that just goes on a drawer. Uh, it fit my hand pretty well. The only other thing that I could see would be helpful would be some sort of almost rope handle or something along that lines, but I know that this is gonna hold, it's uh, gonna work pretty well for us. So for our cable system on the back part of our solar panels, we're gonna use a child safety uh, 3M, well, it's a Jewel baby product. Anyways, what? Fridge strap. It's a fridge lock, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, a child-proof fridge lock is what we're going to it's use. It's what we use to keep the fridge from opening when we're going down the road, our outdoor fridge. Yeah, so we want this to stay back uh, behind the panel when we wind it up. And so we're going to utilize this uh, for the strap. So what I did for the legs on the solar panel is... I drilled a hole just through some metal tube. Uh, for the longer one, I'm actually going to use PVC, but it's the same thing. So drill the hole through it. So all the way through. And then took a self-tapping screw and put it through there. So then I can drill into the frame of the solar panel. So then take the screw and just so I'm clear, I cut the pipe down to the height of the solar panel so it can fit in the frame when it's all folded back up together and then drill the hole through the metal pipe. I'm gonna do the same with the PVC pipe and then take the self-tapping screw and screw it into the frame. So then when we want to get some legs on it and tilt the solar panel up, we can pull the legs down and tilt it to whatever degree that we want. For some odd reason, that one's... There we go. So, voila! And then I'm going to do it uh, the length of it too so then if you want the solar panel to be upright like that you can have it that way but I'll show you the finished product when I'm done with that so finish up with the solar suitcase super smooth um, I just wanted to show you what I ended up doing I ended up 
taking one of the hinges off the long side. It just worked better to just have two on the long side and then also the short side. I'll show you how those uh, come apart and we're able to set them up fairly quickly. All that it is is a pin that's on a door hinge. You just pull that out and then it's able to actually separate it. So there's two of those each time that you do this. And then to open it the long way, we go ahead and do it this way. Now you just have this cardboard that I cut to protect the glass. And so if you're just laying it flat on the ground, then you're just good to go right there. If you want to actually angle it, you have these little, what I used was PVC. And they're just little legs that fold up underneath. A neat little trick that you can use if you want to tilt it, because if it's tilted, it's going to be more efficient on bringing in more sun to the solar panel and sending that energy to the battery. I just cut the PVC to what is going to give me the correct angle. These panels now are at 17 degrees, and that's optimal for summer here. Now, what I did in case if we actually take it, this out in the winter is I measured it uh, to the right uh, length so it would be optimal for the winter and that's about 55 degrees here. So all I have to do is quickly just put these together and all I used was PVC pipe with a coupling. And you'd obviously put all four of these on. But kind of get the idea. So now I want to show you how to open it the other way. I don't think this is necessary, but I just wanted the flexibility to be able to open it up either way. So all I would do is take the pins out of the long side of the solar panel. So just take these pins out. Open it this way. Take the cardboard off that protects that glass. So then you're able to have it long ways. I don't think I'll have it this way very often, but I just wanted the capability to have it this way if need be. Anyways, let's uh, show you a little bit of my solar setup. Yep. My solar setup's meant to be portable, so I put my batteries in a toolbox that I just picked up at Walmart that it fit in and hooked it up that way so I can move it around whenever I need to and take it where I need to. And so that's why I wanted to come up with this solar suitcase idea. Let me show you a little bit about the solar setup that I have. So what I did was I wanted something that could be used, you know, more for a weekend use, something like that. So I have 360 watts of solar, and then I have uh, right at 105 amp hours of batteries. And I picked these up on eBay. They were used batteries in a hospital setting, so they still have a lot of life left in them. Uh, and they lith are lithium ion batteries. What I wanted to do was have something that was able to be easily hooked up and so with my charge controller I just put some uh, connections on there uh, that will be brought from the solar panel and then the connections that actually go to the actual battery and then a little meter on there so I can see how much amp hours are coming into the batteries and then I just have a little uh, voltage meter on there it tells me how much energy is still left in my batteries. I picked up this inverter. It is a modified sign inverter. I would not suggest that. I definitely fried a toaster. So I know it can do worse things than just a toaster. So I wouldn't 
necessarily suggest this. I am going to purchase a pure sign one. This one just was quick and easy, uh, affordable to get, and I have come across a, a lot nicer ones at this point. And voila, just like that, we got nine and a half amps coming in. It's definitely a cloudy day, so there isn't gonna be a whole lot of solar coming in. I hope that you found this video interesting. Hopefully it gave you some ideas on what you could do with a, your solar panels if you wanted them to be a little bit more portable. If you just use them on the weekends like we do um, in various applications. But yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for me or anything like that, definitely leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you are looking to see anything else that we do, definitely subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on the trail.